from Suburban Psalm. I'm Scott. Tonight's video talks about wine clubs. What are they and why should you want to join? Now, some of you are going to hear the word club and tune right out. I'm thinking, I don't like the sound of that at all. I've been in clubs before. Trust me, it's not like that. A wine club, if you like wine, and I assume you do if you're here, this is going to be something you're going to want to probably do. Uh, let me preface this by saying that I only have experience with United States clubs. I imagine the clubs around the world are very similar, but you should at least look into it. Some of the information might be a little different. That being said, a club is quite simply, you're going to get one or more shipments of a producer's wine sent to your house each year. They're usually free to join, easy to cancel. All right, so why would you want to join one? Well, the first one's convenience. Um, instead of going to the store, wine shipped right to your house a couple times a year. What could be easier? Right now we're kind of in the COVID-19 crisis. Maybe you can't go out, your store's closed, you don't want to go out, wine shipped right to your house. Another thing you're going to find in wine clubs is special invitations or special events. These are going to be things like they're going to have a new wine released or they're going to have a grape pressing, grape stomping, a harvest event, a wine dinner, a meet and greet with the winemaker, all kind of cool things that you can do if you're close enough to take advantage of that. Unfortunately, here in the Midwest where I live, and the clubs are all out in California or the West Coast, not exactly something I've been able to do yet, but I still get invited and one of these days I'm going to take advantage. Another thing I like about clubs is flexibility. Uh, not all of them have this, but the better ones do. And that's what that means simply is they're going to give you a note a couple of weeks prior to your shipment. And they're going to say, this is what's coming. What I like to be able to do is add to or change up some of those. Let's say there's a bottle in there that I just don't like the bridal, or I've still got a couple of those. I'd like to be able to go in and swap that out for something else. And usually, as long as you keep the amount of bottles the same, keep your commitment level to what it needs to be, it's not a problem. Next up is member exclusives. Now these are wines that only the club members can get. So that can be a really cool thing. These are usually special small batch wines that are not gonna be open to the public, not gonna be sold in stores. Again, small quantities of these, and they're usually pretty cool wines to get. Next up is pre-releases. Now these are wines that are going to be available just to members at first for some amount of time. And that could be kind of cool because you might get a hold of one, really like it, and want to jump back in and buy a bunch before it's unloaded onto the public and maybe it becomes sold out. So pre-release is definitely a cool thing. Next is library and vertical releases. Now library wines are something that I really like to look for in a club. Uh, what you'll see there is they'll open up, they'll hold back some wines that they made or just didn't sell, and they'll store them properly. But let's say you'll want to go back and you'll see a 2010 or 2012 vintage. Um, it's a really cool way to get a hold of some of these older, seller-worthy wines that maybe you didn't have the wallet for back then, like you couldn't afford to buy a case, drink some of them, and store some. Well. This allows you to get some of those older gems that might be in their library. And vertical releases are similar to that, but they're usually a succession of vintages. Like you'll see the, the 07, the 08, and the 09 cab, let's say, and they'll send you those. And what's really cool about that, especially with small producers, is you'll find that those wines change a lot over those years. Um, and you could kind of have an event maybe where you open all three and you try them next to each other, or you could just save them because they're still going to be seller worthy for several years. Another thing about being in the club is just simply having access to their wines. And I know that sounds kind of strange at first, but I've been in a restaurant, I've had a wine, really liked it, tried to find it in all the local stores, couldn't find it. So I had to go online and that's the only place you can get it is direct from the producer. So being in their club, especially if you find something you really like, that's going to be the way to go. And probably the number one reason, if you learn nothing else from this video, why you'd want to join a club is discounts. Now this is huge. Usually they start about 15%. And I've seen them 20, 25, even as high as 30% 
off of your each bottle of wine. This is not small change and it adds up pretty quick. So the bottom line is discounts save you a lot of money when you're in the club. Now, before you go running out to the website with your credit card ready to join a club, let's talk about a couple of considerations. I would not say cons, but considerations, things to think about. The first one is commitment, and that's a twofold uh, topic. First of all, the commitment is what tier level or amount of wine you have to get and how often. Uh, so a lot of them will have quarterly, some will have semi-annual, some will just be one time of year that you'll have to buy the wines. Um, they'll have as little as three bottles. Some will be a half case, some will be a case club where you'll get a case every shipment. Um, you want to make sure that that's something that you can keep up with both you're able to drink that and afford that. Now, the other part of commitment is how long you have to stay in the club. Most of these are a year or less. I've seen some where you just do one shipment and they'll let you out of there. And that's almost a no brainer, especially when you take in consideration the discount. But typically you'll see they'll want you to stick around for about a year. Uh, and after that, it's just a matter of a phone call, email. I think I've only called one to cancel. Most of them, a simple email. A day or two later, I've got the confirmation and I'm out. No questions asked. Very easy, no problem at all. Second consideration is shipping. Um, now that's also twofold. So shipping can be kind of expensive, especially if you're getting six bottles or a case. Uh, you might see shipping $25, $30 or more, depending on where you live and where the wine's coming from. But they do offer specials. Again, right now we're in the middle of a pandemic. I'm seeing $5 shipping, $1 shipping, even free shipping. Uh, they're doing anything they can just to move wine, which is kind of a cool thing if you're in the clubs. The other part of sh about shipping, though, that you want to make sure you're careful about is what state you live in because you can't have wine shipped to every state. And I'm not going to list them here because that probably changes more frequently than I can keep up with. But I'd say about half the states are not wine friendly shipping states. So make sure you know if you're in one of those and the wine club will certainly help you with that. That's probably going to be one of the first things they ask is where you live and they'll let you know if they can ship it there. So hopefully you're not in that boat where you can't and you can take advantage of these. Anyway, I hope you liked this video and got a lot out of it and hopefully you're ready to go jump in and join a club. If you do join a club, send me a note down in the comments and let me know who you joined. I'd love to hear. And if you're thinking about it and you're not sure, I'm not going to name drop any clubs here on the video, but certainly if you're thinking about joining and you have some questions, ask me down in the comments. Tell me what kind of wines you like, how much you're looking to spend. I'd be happy to give you some suggestions, maybe point you in the right direction. Well, that's it. I'm Scott from Suburban Psalm. I hope you enjoyed this video and got a lot out of it. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.